Hey there YouTube, it's Karina from Living Lean Six Sigma. I'm here to talk to you today about getting your home office processes down. So some of you have the opportunity to continue working from home and uh, maybe it's dawned on you that you should probably clean up some of your processes. It's not as efficient as it could be. So I'm gonna talk about six things today and a bonus if you stick towards the end. Um, the first one is going to be time blocking. So time blocking isn't new to anybody, but for me personally, I take the same time uh, lunch and uh, my 15 minute breaks throughout the day, uh, keeping myself on a schedule. Um, not only is this good for your um, body, your psychology, um, you know, getting away from the computer, but you have to go to the bathroom right now. Oh, my cat's using the litter box. <laughs> <laughs> okay so time blocking um so uh also another thing is your um management and your team know what to expect from you so um another thing is to communicate those time blocks so on my slack or whatever um email automatic replies it says hey contact me this way i'm on lunch if it's an emergency Second item I want to bring up is uh, minimize the clutter. So if you don't have a designated space for your area that you're working in, I would declutter and just claim it. So um, that is part of a process improvement. It's going to be better for you, the household. Everyone will know that that's your space and um, the clutter does not belong there. The clutter should go away. Um, and that can be worked out in another video. The third thing is going to be organize your process. So uh, put things that are uh, frequently accessed close to you. So if you print 20 pages a day, uh, have the printer pretty close to you and not downstairs in the other room or in the basement or whatever. Have things uh, that make sense that are close to you right here and right there. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not gonna go more into it. The fourth thing, habit stacking. So all of this is leading up to habit stacking. This is um, not new, but if it's new to you, habit stacking pretty much is the idea of um, using your existing habits and building upon them to create new habits. So for example, if you brush your teeth every morning, um, then after brushing your teeth, you wanna um, include a new habit that's a workout regime. Uh, for an example, then uh, 20 minutes for the 20 minutes after you brush your teeth, uh, you will do crunches or some kind of workout. And the goal is that one, once you brush your teeth, your brain will now know to, hey, it's now time to do a quick 20 minute workout. Um, if you do that with your workplace, you can, um, for an example, uh, some people use the habit stacking of getting ready for work. Yes, you're working from home. No, you're not driving, but something about getting ready for work and getting dressed up is a habit stack and that allows you, your brain to um, create that pattern and you'll be more successful. Um, just keep stacking on top of existing habits. Now the fifth thing is ergonomics. So don't just get any old furniture. You, as much as being a couch potato sounds appealing to some, it's not the best thing for your back, for your posture, uh, for your shoulders, for your wrists. Um, ergonomics is uh, widely available um, to research on YouTube and on Google. So I'm not gonna go into that. The last thing is the furniture. So uh, in addition to the posture and how high and how far you are from your keyboard and your mouse, um, the furniture, you want to clean that space of your office and you want to um, make it appealing. Like you want to work there. If you want to feel like you're in the cafe, make your space feel like a cafe. Um, smells, um, sights, um, touch, you know, play to your senses and that should assist in uh, getting your home office processes down if you um, you know, combine everything together, um, it should work out for you. Those are just six of the most commonly ones that I can think of. If you know of more, please comment down below. Um, hit that like and subscribe button. 
And your bonus feature for today is pet furniture. So if you're working from home, I have a pet. Some of you have pets. If not, maybe children, pets and children. So if you give them a space for them to relax and still be in your presence, sometimes that's all they want. So um, get them a uh, bed or a um, little chair for um, reading. Um, not, I don't think cats and dogs can read, but you know what I mean. So thanks so much. Thanks for watching uh, me. Uh, I'm Karina and this is Living Lean Six Sigma. Bye.